we thought it would be fun to set up a gutter so that we could run our soap boat experiments in a gutter for a couple different reasons. First, you can have a bunch of different students working in the same gutter at the same time, right? That's pretty long. The other thing is you can have a challenge where you can see if you can have your students make a soap boat that's going to go all the way down to the end of the gutter. And then I suppose if they make it that far, then you can maybe have some speed record. So we've got Jinwon here who has made a soap boat design. This is uh, one that was recommended by the, the authors of the Soap Boat 2.0 article. Um, he's going to put this in there. We're going to see if we can't make it go all the way down the end of the gutter and back. Well, I don't know about back. Yep. We'll put her in there. This is isopropyl alcohol as our fuel. Jin's going to add it to the fuel chamber. Oh, look at that guy go. He's just moving right along. Look at that. It's making good progress. It could go all the way. We have a winner. <laughs> Turn that around. See if we can go back the other way. Sure enough. Look at that. Oh, little drop there. Stop in progress. Hey, that's not bad. Tell me the kids at like uh, the outreach events, National Chemistry Week outreach events, wouldn't, wouldn't love doing this particular experiment. I think that's as far as we're going to go. Nice job, Jin Wan. Thank you. All right, happy experimenting.